Welcome to ATCM channel. Yes. Twenty-seven uh, year old with no comorbidities, comorbidities, residing in Delhi, came to AIMS with history of fever with chills, generalized tiredness and cough for past three weeks. Follow following an intake of uh, tap water. Fever with chills was sudden in onset. Relief on medicines, but they reappear after six hours. He came back from Delhi to hometown and was admitted in the local hospitals. His lab shows increased OT and PT, and took to, uh, tap UD uh, UD hip 300 milligram and tap Udo uh, Urso Dio colic acid 300 milligram. Urso Dio colic acid. After that, he started having cough, which is followed by vomiting, which was mostly food particles. He then went to MMH uh, uh, hospital and his lab shows elevated OTPT that is in uh, 1773 and 2036 uh, and bilirubin of 4.7 mg per dl. When you are seeing STOT STPT in thousands, there are few conditions which can produce that. What are the conditions? Uh, mostly hepatitis. Viral hepatitis. Viral hepatitis. Then, then alcoholic hepatitis. Alcohol normally it will not produce, but uh, if you Dr take heavy alcohol, sometimes it can happen. Then drug induced or drug toxins. induced toxin induced hepatitis. Then uh, drug then or toxin. toxin. Then third one. Third one is common uh, here in in emergency room. Uh, CL uh, post cardiac arrest ischemic yeah. ischemic hepatitis. So three important things. One is uh, uh, viral hepatitis, viral or infectious. In that viral is most thing, common. Then drug paracetamol or uh, rat poisoning like that. Third one is post cardiac arrest. If the, there is a prolonged cardiac arrest, like in any organ, liver also will suffer. That also can produce hepatitis. Uh, hence, he came here in Ames for further management. He have no history of constipation, dysuria, breathing <coughs> difficulty, disorientation and malina. No history of any drug intake, rashes or hematemesis. Past history, yeah, he has lower abdominal pain and loose tools three weeks back and treated as gastritis in Delhi. Personal history is a chronic alcoholic, occasional smoker. Chronic uh, alcoholic means what? Can you use that word? Alcoholic. Is uh, it right term, terminology? Alcoholic. No. Suppose I take alcohol every day. Uh, hey, will you call me alcoholic? 30 ml every day, 60 ml every day. <coughs> yes or no? No. Uh, then what is alcoholic? When you are going to court, all these term terminologies has got some importance. If you brand somebody as alcoholic, there is an entirely different uh, problem. Alcoholic means what? Addict. Addict. Addict means it is not addiction. It even involves his personal and uh, family or public life. He is uh, addicted like he told, he is addicted. He has to take. And if it produces problem to others, then only he will become alcoholic. A person who takes every day some 30 ml alcohol, that is a permitted limit. He is not alcoholic. Okay. History of alcoholic. So, if you use that term alcoholic means, uh, then it will become a problematic term. Okay. So, he, has so he takes alcohol mm. occasionally or uh, regularly. But he is not addicted. Okay. That will be better terminology. Uh, he have history of alcohol intake mm. and occasional smoker. Mm. Conde, uh, continue, uh, he have continued outside food intake for the past three months. Mm. Have disturbed sleep, but normal bowel and bad bladder movements. Family history: His father died two months back due to jaundice. So clinical examination: Initial ten second assessment. He also had uh, jaundice. jaundice. He was taking alcohol. Yes. yes. Okay. CL. CL. Uh, initial 10 seconds assessment, airway appears to be patent and no secretions, breathing, bilateral air and present, saturation of 98% on room air and a respiratory rate of 21 per minute, circulation BP 114 by 80 mmHg and pulse, pulse rate of 90 per minute. What is the importance of pulse in uh, jaundice? A bradycardia can occur, sir. In which type uh, of jaundice? In obstructive jaundice. Obstruct. Disability GCS is uh, E4, V5, M6, pupil bilaterally equal and reactor. Exposure tem uh, temperature is 97.9%. Mm. 
ஜன எக்ஸாமினேஷன் இஸ் கான்ஷியஸ் ஆரியன்டட் இக்ட்ரஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் நோ பேலர் கிளப்பிங் சைனோசிஸ் லெம்ஃபர்னோபதி ஒரு பீட்டல் அடிமா ஜஸ்ட் இன் சிஸ்டமிக் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஜஸ்ட் பைலாட்ரல் ஏரன்ட்ரி ப்ரெசன்ட் நார்மல் வெஸ்குலார் சவுண்ட்ஸ் சிவியஸ் எஸ் எஸ் ஒன் எஸ் டூ ப்ரெசன்ட் வித் நோ மர்மஸ் ஜிஐடி சாஃப்ட் நான் டெண்டர் பவுல் சவுண்ட்ஸ் டெண்டர்னஸ் வந்து ரைட் இப்போ கண்ட்ரோல் ஏரியா டுடே ஆல்சோ இஸ் ஹேவிங் ஓகே no dilated veins visible pulse uh, peristalsis no scars and bruises yeah. all contents uh, move equally cns uh, no focal neurological deficits no flaps what is this flap uh, encephalopathy sir. okay hepatic flaps hepatic flaps okay. what are the other condition you get flaps in cl decompensated hepatic flap hepatic that is hepatic encephalopathy one of the uh, major reason other reasons for flaps Cardiac failure? No. Urinic encephalopathy, hypoxic encephalopathy, toxic encephalopathy. It's a sign of encephalopathy, not a sign of liver disease. Sign of encephalopathy, all encephalopathies, but it, here it will be very prominent. That's why. Lab, uh, our lab investigation shows elevated infective markers, total bilirubin of 4.4 and uh, SGP, uh, SGPT and SGOT. Uh, in ot is more sot is more scpt is more uh, scpt is more if sot is more what is your diagnosis alcoholic liver it's pr- it more in favor of alcoholic hepatitis okay why yeah. sot is more in alcoholic hepatitis uh, um, or ot and like uh, that's more for alcohol uh, metabolism that al is more scpt production is reduced that's reduced. all normally scpt produce uh, in alcoholic hepatitis scot production is more mm. okay reason i don't know but their scpt production is less yes. whereas in drug induced or uh, like viral hepatitis scpt is always more than scot but most of the alcoholic liver disease scot is slightly more mm. that doesn't mean that uh, you should never get a scpt elevated than scot you can get that also uh, is uh, IgM HAE A tends out to be positive mm. and we did an ultrasound which showed mild fatty liver no surface irregularity and splenomegaly the diagnosis of uh, mm. hepatitis A okay. acute liver injury is also okay so now you have a straight forward case of hepatitis we have no doubt in it is a viral hepatitis most probably hepatitis A only but there is a possibility of hepatitis B C or E mm. how do you diagnose all these things uh sir all the tests ig igm uh. igv can uh. and uh, hs hs uh, hps ag the antigen can be done in hepatitis b otherwise uh, antibodies can be positive okay so here it is hepatitis a positive now you have to treat this patient so no further investigations are required once the hepatitis a is positive uh, mainly we do support it no, any other investigation you want to do in this patient Uh, yeah. STOT, STPT is elevated, uh, S- uh, hepatitis A is positive, huh? PTN. 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 PTN, that is the most important. Possible. So here there are two important things, so the function of the liver is uh, very important. Mm. One of the function is albumin, albumin production. production, so you have to check the albumin, what is albumin? Uh, so albumin uh, was 3.2. So. so it is normal, no. okay, or slightly low, it is not very low. So that part is okay. Second function is bleeding uh, parameters should be normal. here what is a ptnr uh, 1.47 1.4 normally is 1 being 1.1 or 1.1 here it is 1.4 slightly elevated which level you suspect problem uh, more than 1.5 1.5 is, is a problematic oh. range okay so if it is raising you have to be very careful here it is 1.4 nothing to be done how do you manage this case uh, we give supportive treatment to the patient what supportive uh, fluids i uh, dns can be started because okay. hypoglycemia can occur in okay. liver injury okay. then uh, 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 n-acetyl cysteine can okay. be started n-acetyl cysteine may be helpful okay. it is not an indicated drug if, if the patient is having severe liver injury it can be tried then uh, uh, in injection rifaximin to prevent injection or tablet uh, tab- 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 tablet tablet, tablet. Okay. Uh, to prevent encephalopathy, hmm. then we have. What to is the action of rifaximin? Uh, it's a gut. Uh, gut sterilizer. Okay. So then uh, restricted protein intake. Okay. Uh, and uh, potassium 
supplementation potassium rich food okay. you have to eat okay. and personal protection no, react- lactose Lactulose. Lactulose, lactulose also should be gone. You should have good uh, uh, stool so output. Some patients with hepatitis A can have diarrhea. So, in that patient, don't try this. Otherwise, lactulose also can be given. Is PTN or anything to be done? Uh, PTN or we have to monitor. Okay, we have to monitor. So, will you act? Suppose it is 2.53, will you act? Uh, if any signs of bleeding or, uh, or coagulopathy, we have hmm. to supplement. Hmm. Will you give FFP in these patients? So that's why we, when when you are working in a center where the liver transplantation is the tra- transplant is there, mm-hmm. if the INR is raising, so that may be one of the sign of liver failure. Okay, if the INR is more than six, it's an indicator for transplant. But unfortunately, if you transfuse FFP, this will be masked. This lab indicator will be masked. So, you will be in a dangerous situation whether to go for transplant or not. Okay. Very rarely, hepatitis A will go for a failure, complete failure and it is not at all common. Okay. So, hepatitis A is okay, nothing will happen. But if it is a paracetamol poisoning or a rat, uh, rat poisoning, when the FF, sorry, uh, this PTNR is elevating, just watch it. Don't try to give uh, FFP and try to correct it. You are only going to mask the problem. You are not going to treat the problem. Unfortunately, if bleeding occurs, then uh, uh, definitely you have to treat the patient. Okay. Uh, then uh, gra- monitoring, then personal care for the staffs, mm. and also separate toilet. Why? Uh, why you are telling about, about personal yeah, care for? It's, it's a fecal oral route, so okay. it can transmit. Okay. So that that uh, that things should be taken care. Of. Okay. So family members, how do you protect? Uh, vaccination, sir. So what is the vaccine uh, uh, dose? Vac- uh, doses, two, two doses killed vaccine is there. Oh. One ml, I am. Oh. The dose of zero and one month. Zero and one. Okay. So, that has to be advised to the family members. If healthcare professional want to take, mm-hmm. so it is better. And once you get the hepatitis A, will you get it again? No, sir. So, it's Protect a life, mostly it is a lifelong protection. protection. So, there is no need to take extra vaccine for this type of patients or those who have already developed hepatitis A, it is not required. Okay. Yes. What happened to the patient finally? Uh, he is improved. He is improved and uh, planning for planning discharge. For Any follow up is required for this patient? Yes, sir. Uh, hmm. the three months can relapse can occur. So, okay. serial uh, LFT. Hmm. Very and rarely, only that all happens. Normally, all patients will improve without any problem. Uh, but in hepatitis B and C, you have to follow up the patient. You have to see the LFT, monitor the LFT. If the LFT shows still uh, raise after six months, mm-hmm. after even after six months, if it is raised, it's an ongoing inflammation. Then you have to rule out chronic carrier state or chronic infection in that type of patient. Most of the hepatitis A will subside in one or two weeks. Mm-hmm. How long this jaundice will be there in the ice? Three months. More okay. than three it months. may remain more time than the actual recovery, may be prolonged. Mm-hmm. That you have to tell the patient that this jaundice will be there for some more time. Anything else you want to tell? Okay. Thank you.